Hello, this is Melanie with Not Too Shabby Crochet. Today I'm going to go over some tips and tricks for my Brunt of the Dinosaur pattern, which is available on Etsy, linked below. Part 1, the hump. We'll go ahead and make a slip knot to start. Insert our hook and pull the knot tight. Then we'll go ahead and chain seven. This gives us seven chains and one loop around our hook. We're going to start at the second chain from the hook. In the last stitch, we'll do an increase. And then we'll rotate our chain so those bottom strands are now on the top. We'll insert our hook into that top strand, yarn over, pull up yarn over and pull through. In the last stitch we'll do an increase. And that completes round one of the hump. Then we'll just continue working around this oval. And there's our finished hump. We'll go ahead and set this aside for now. Part two, the head and neck. We'll go ahead and start with a magic ring. I have a tutorial on this in another video, but I'll go over it quickly here. That'll be our first slip stitch. Then we'll go ahead and start our single crochets. Once we've completed all six, we can close up our magic ring. And we'll go ahead and continue on with the pattern. Once we've finished a few rows, we'll go ahead and take out our stitch markers and replace with safety eyes.
and then we'll continue on with the pattern. In the next row, we'll go ahead and do some decreases. I like to do an invisible decrease, and so that's shown here. I'll insert my hook into just the front strand and the front strand of the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through both strands, yarn over and pull through both loops. Then we'll just continue on with the pattern. After you finish row 19, you're going to work two or three single crochets so that the yarn end lines up with the back of the neck, stuff with fiber fill, and leave your hook in the last stitch. Next for part three, the body. You'll line up both of your pieces as shown once you finish the head, neck, and hump. Your hook is still inserted in the last stitch of the neck. And we'll insert our hook through both pieces, making sure that the head is facing forward and the hump is on correctly with the tail end in the back. We'll yarn over and pull through both pieces to create our first slip stitch. And then in the next stitch, we'll continue with our single crochets. Once you've worked around the head, we'll join back into the body. So skipping that slip stitch, we'll work in the first free stitch of the body. And continue with the pattern. Once we've made it around the body and back around to the head, just as before, we'll skip that slip stitch and start working in the first free stitch on the neck. should look something like this. For row three on the body, once you've completed your 24 single crochets, you're going to chain six, and skip six stitches to create a hole for the tail. So in the seventh stitch, we'll go ahead and insert our hook and single crochet. continue working the pattern. Once you've made it around again, for row four, once you get to the tail, you'll insert your hook into the top strand of these chains and work your single crochets. After row six, we'll work about six or seven single crochets so that the yarn end lines up with the front of the body. Then we'll go ahead and chain five, skipping seven, to create a hole for the leg similar to the tail. In the eighth stitch, we'll single crochet. We'll repeat this for each of the legs. Once you've made it around, similar to the tail, you'll work your single crochets in the top strand of the chains. For row eight, instead of a decrease, I like to do a single crochet two together, just because the pieces are a little weird here. So we'll insert, yarn over, pull up a loop, insert, yarn over, pull up a loop. We'll have three and pull through all three together. And we'll continue on with the pattern. Part four, the tail and legs. Once we've completed the body, we'll hold the piece as shown to start the tail. We'll insert our hook into the leg of the adjacent single crochet. We'll grab our slip knot and pull that tight. We'll draw up that slip knot, yarn over, and pull through to create a slip stitch to join our yarn. Then we'll insert into that same stitch, yarn over, drop a loop. Insert into the next available stitch on the body. Yarn over and drop a loop. You should have three loops on your hook at this time. We'll yarn over and pull through all three to create our single crochet two together. Then we'll continue working around the body to create the tail.
Similarly with the leg, we'll do the same thing, insert our hook, attach a slip knot, pull through, and create a slip stitch to join. Then we'll use that same leg and the first available stitch for our single crochet two together. Then we'll continue working single crochets around the leg. Once you've finished all four legs, stuff the piece, closed off all the ends, you'll have this adorable little Bronto the Dinosaur. Again, these are just some tips and tricks, but the full pattern is available on my Etsy, Not Too Shabby Crochet, which is linked below. Thank you!